thank you once again for joining us. Uh, my name is Sinman and I'm from the Smart Nation and Digital Government Office. Um, hashtag Smart Nation Together is an online platform uh, developed to our community, to everything tech, and most importantly, also to introduce uh, like digital upskilling opportunities for the community. So um, today we will be touching on how to transact safely online using the SingPass app. Um, there are currently over 300 million app users. And while there are technical safeguards to protect our users, uh, we ourselves will also have to be alert to combat uh, scams. So in this session, we are very glad to have with us the team from GovTech, um, Serene and Andre, to share more with us. So uh, Serene, over to you, please. Thank you, Seaman. Uh, give me one minute to change the presentation slides over. Okay. Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Serene from the communications team at the Government Technology Agency. Thank you so much for taking time to learn more about SingPass today. Um, we know many of you will have questions along the way. So if you'd like to um, ask a question, please type them in the Q&A feature. And my teammate here with me, Andre, will address some of them during the presentation. Alternatively, you can also hold that thought and ask your questions at the 15-minute Q&A section at the end. So I'm not sure if you have received suspicious phone calls or SMSs in the past year, but I have, and quite often as well. And these calls can actually be from scammers attempting to trick users into disclosing their personal information uh, and to use them for fraudulent activities. So it's very important that we take a 360 approach to combat scams and bolster the security of SingPass, which is the digital identity for more than 4.5 million residents today. And we'd like to do so by partnering our users like ourselves. So today's session will focus on how you can keep your SingPass safe and transact securely online. So while we're learning, let's also have fun. Throughout the session, you might be required to answer some questions that will pop up on the screen. So before we begin officially, here's the first question. How many of you have lost your NRIC or FIN card before? Less than one in five users who have lost their NRICs before. Okay. Thank you, Sigmund. So for those who have lost their NRICs, did you panic? Because I have lost it before and I panicked because um, firstly, it's very, very, very troublesome to replace and also it costs money. La. <laughs> the first time you lose it is 100 bucks and $300 for the second and subsequent losses. So I'm sure most of us here agree that our NRC and BIN card is one of the most important documents that we own because it represents us and our identity and can be used for many, many different transactions. So our SingPass is our digital identity, and it is what we use to verify ourselves, to confirm that we are who we say we are, so that we can conveniently access thousands of services. It also contains a lot of our personal information, so naturally we should treat it with care, just like we would with our physical identity cards. If our SingPass login details are stolen, there could be consequences. Scammers can impersonate us, misuse our account for fraudulent activities, such as money laundering, and it may even lead to monetary losses that can be hard to recover. So as we enjoy the benefits of using our digital identity, we must also learn how to protect it. So we all know that we should not share our SingPass ID, password, or 2FA details like SFS OT with others. Just like we won't hand our physical IDs to just anybody. But do you know that scammers can also trick you into sharing your sensitive information, including seeing past details with them? Uh, and they sometimes do so by redirecting you to a fake website that looks exactly like an exact replica of the real website, where you enter your details into the fields and your login details are stolen. So that's known as phishing. So this is just one method. And scammers are constantly evolving their scam tactics. So it's very important that we keep ourselves updated on the recent scams, learn what are some measures in place, 
Um, Sing Pass also works closely with Sing the Singapore Police Force on scam investigations and the police issues advisories to warn the public. So information on such re recent scams involving Sing Pass are published on our Sing Pass website at go.gov.sg slash even safer Sing Pass. So sometimes we learn best through experience and trial and error, but in the case of scams, we want to learn how to protect our same past without having to experience the pain of falling prey to a scam, having our credentials stolen, and potentially suffering lo uh, losses. So we have simulated this common scam tactic to test ourselves today. So imagine you are relaxing at home on a Sunday morning and you receive this SMS from SingPass. The web link embedded in the SMS leads to what seems like a SingPass login page. You have this feeling that something's not right. Um, can you find all the telltale signs and avoid a potential phishing scam? So firstly, do you know that all organizations that use SMS sender IDs must register, sing must register uh, with the Singapore SMS sender ID registry? This includes SingPass. So if you receive an SMS OTP from SingPass today, you will only see two types of sender IDs either SingPass with a lowercase p or SingPass with an uppercase p. So SingPass SG here is not an official SingPass sender ID. So that's a telltale sign number one. Secondly, the SMS uses urgent language to get users to click on an embedded link to update details before the account is deactivated. Remember, SingPass never sends web links or QR codes through SMS or other mobile phone messaging platforms. If you spot a web link in an SMS claiming to be from SingPass, do not click on the link. It's a phishing SMS. So most of you got that right. I've been monitoring the post that started out the strongest. Most of you know that there should not be an SM, uh, a web link in a SingPass SMS. There was also a fake service hotline provided in the SMS, if um, some of you might have noticed. And if you call this number, you could be speaking to a scammer posing as a SingPass officer. This is also known as a tech support scam. So of course, we don't expect you to memorize the SingPass hotline email address. But if you are in doubt on whether a message is legitimate or not, you can visit the official SingPass website at singpass.gov.sg and click contact us to get the information on how you can contact SingPass. Then you can call or email us to verify the message. So in case of an emergency, let's say you suspect that your account has been compromised, you can call the hotline and press 9 for 24-hour scan support. Your call will be routed immediately to a scan support officer who can guide you to secure your account. So if you are an unsuspecting victim and you missed the two or three telltale signs in the SMS earlier that you received, then you would have clicked on the embedded link in the SMS and landed on this website which looks exactly like the SingPass website. Here, if you check one more thing before you enter your SingPass ID and password and hit login, you would have avoided a phishing scam. So always check that the URL domain of the, of the SingPass website is singpass.gov.sg before you proceed to transact. So here, the URL domain is not singpass.gov.sg, hence it is a phishing website and you should not enter your login credentials. Scammers are constantly updating their methodologies and they can make phishing websites look exactly like the real deal. SingPass works closely with the police and relevant agencies to take down these websites, but new ones can sprout up very quickly. So it's important that we always check the URL domain when we transact. And finally, if you have recently changed your mobile number or email address, please have uh, them updated in your SingPass account. This is because SingPass sends you transactional alerts via the contact details you have provided to us. With these notifications, you will be alerted to any suspicious activity that you did not perform and can quickly contact us to recover your account. So here we have a real password reset SMS on screen and this is an alert from SingPass um, after the users has changed the password. And if you know you did not reset your password but you received this, you know that something is wrong, something is amiss, and you can call SingPass at 6335-3533 and press 9 for scan support. So look out for such transactional alerts from SingPass and keep your contact details registered with SingPass updated.
Now, if you suspect that there are suspicious activities and your account has been compromised, do you think that your that by resetting your account or resetting your password, it's sufficient to recover your account? So let's take a pause and do a short quiz here. Do you think that by resetting your password, you can recover your account fully? Okay, we have more than 75% of the participants responding to this poll and most of you have got it right. You may not be able to fully recover your account with just a password reset. Let me show you why. So if you answer option two, you're absolutely right because after obtaining the victim's SingPass ID, password and SSOTP, scammers often attempt to take over the account by changing the password so that the victim loses access to the account, their mobile number registered with SingPass so that they can take over the SMS OTPs, and setting up the victim's SingPass app on the scammer's own devices so that they can access the victim's account freely after that. So it is not sufficient to just reset your password because then the, the scammer might still have access to your SMS OTP or your SingPass app. So what should you do then? You can take these immediate steps to secure your, and recover your account. We have stepped up our incident reporting procedures and you can call SingPass at 6335-3533 and press 9 to report a scam. Doing so will redirect you to help this officer who can assist to secure your account. You should also try to recover your account by resetting a password using SingPass based verification. So assuming the perpetrator has changed your password and mobile number, you will not now be able to log in with your um, password and OTP, right? So you can still log in using SingPass face verification, which scans your face and then compares it with the government's database to confirm your identity. So this is one of the two-factor authentication methods for SingPass. And once you have um, logged in to your account to reset your password, with that new password, you can now access your account, your SingPass uh, account, to update your mobile number and as an email address. So you can regain control over your SMS OTPs. And finally, but very importantly, you have to deactivate the SingPass app on the portal or reinstall the app on your personal device to ensure you regain control over your SingPass app. This is because the SingPass app can only be installed on one device at a time and installing it on your device will deactivate any previous versions that could have been installed on the scammer's phone. So finally, combating scams is really a partnership. While you do your part to protect your SingPass account, SingPass has also implemented enhanced security measures to protect our users. First, you may have encountered the screen on the left asking for an additional security verification when you conduct higher risk transactions. So let's say you are setting up your SingPass app. You may also encounter this after you have already provided your 2FA, say your SMS OTP. So this is an additional measure to make sure um, to, to, to guard against impersonal scams and make sure there's no unauthorized access to your account. So when you use this, when you're prompted for additional security verification, um, you may be asked to perform a face scan using SingPass face verification um, to make sure it is you. So this helps to afford a higher level of uh, security. Our scam reporting hotline, as I mentioned earlier, is also now 24 seven. So just press nine after you have dialed in to report a scan. We also work with the police and relevant organizations on scam detection and investigations. In fact, we have deployed Sing SingPass staff at SPF NT Scam Center as well to support their investigations. So finally, um, we've come to the end of our presentation. We would like to uh, encourage users to be alert when transacting online and remember the security tips that you have learned today. Um, you may share it with your family or friends to, put, to help to protect them as well. So we pick the most prominent tips, but we have also published resources on our website to help users understand how they can keep their SingPass safe. So to learn more, you can visit go.gov.sg slash even safer SingPass.
Finally, there are many resources on the same past FAQs and step-by-step -step instructions in the guides at these links. So you may visit them at your own free time to read up, um, as well as the security page that I mentioned earlier. Yeah. So don't worry, you don't have to um, take photographs or like share any, um, take down all the links here. We will be sharing the deck with you after this. And uh, we really thank um, uh, Serene and Andre's time today for sharing with us. So thank you so much, uh, Serene and Andre. And most of all, thank you all of you for joining us. It's really important to us. And um, please, yes, uh, you know, if there's any feedback, do get back to us.